From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. It'll be another hot day across the Bay Area. Greg will have your full forecast coming up, but first I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. St. Pete police make an arrest in Tuesday's double murder in an alley off 14th Avenue South. Officers arrested Charles Hickson Jr. yesterday afternoon. He was just released from prison in April of 2009 for robbery. Detectives say they don't have a motive yet for the killings. A civil rights group will again call on St. Pete to set a policy for using police body cameras. The director of the National Christian League of Councils plans to ask city leaders today to require officers to be equipped with body cameras, not a camera mounted on guns. Last month, St. Pete police wrapped up a month long test where some officers tested out body cameras. Also in St. Pete, a citizens action group will call on council members to review the city's voting districts. The Poor People's Campaign wants St. Pete to create two heavily minority majority districts to better represent the city's population. In Democracy 2018, incumbent Senator Bill Nelson and his challenger, Governor Rick Scott, will not meet face to face before Election Day. CNN canceled their debate because neither campaign could make to agree on a makeup date. Tuesday night's debate was postponed because of Hurricane Michael. Meanwhile, a new poll finds Governor Scott with a slight lead over Senator Nelson. St. Pete poll shows Scott up 49 to 47 percent among likely voters. That is within the margin of error. However, the poll found Scott's lead is nearly three points among people who have already voted. And turning now to the race for governor, Democrat Andrew Gillum and Republican Ron DeSantis will debate on CNN from here in Tampa on Sunday night. They'll also face off at Broward College next Wednesday. St. Pete polls show that Gillum, the Tallahassee mayor, has a one point lead over DeSantis. Five percent are undecided. However, DeSantis leads Gillum by three percent among people who've already voted. That makes this upcoming debate very critical in the race. One of the Bay Area's most popular music festivals kicks off this afternoon. Tens of thousands are expected in Coachman Park for the Clearwater Jazz Holiday. Today's acts are Adam Hawley, the George Billings Band, Mindy Abair, who grew up in St. Pete, and George Thorogood and the Destroyer. Sheila E. and Morris Day in the Time play the festival tomorrow. Greg, it's going to be hot out there. It is, especially if you're heading out there early right after work tonight. It's going to be humid, too. Here's how the evening and the rest of the afternoon break down. We're going to be in the 90s for much of the day by 5, 6 o'clock, still in the low 90s. By 7, 8, and 9, we'll fall back through the 80s. But remember, with the humidity high, it'll still feel like the upper 80s to near 90 right into maybe 8, 830 this evening. So bring some extra water with you and dress light. I don't think you're going to need a jacket this evening. Evening. I got a complete to look at the seven day forecast. It's posted on the weather page at abcactionnews.com. Dia. Yeah, the same advice goes for today, too, because the annual Hillsborough County Fair kicks off today at the county fairgrounds on State Road 60 in Valrico. The A Day event is held the next two weekends. It features carnival games, midway rides, livestock shows, grandstand events, and of course, fair food. All that greasy, wonderful fair food. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app to receive breaking news alerts. This ABC Action News Brief was brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians, make yourself visible. Wear bright, reflective colors.